I'm enough just as I am being me I don't need to perform beauty I don't need to be sexy I'm literally enough to them because of who I am it's really empowering to have friends that appreciate you for who you are and as a woman it's really important to realize that you are so much more than your looks friends are so good at reinforcing that notion that you are so much more than your exterior Hello, welcome to this video, my beautiful YouTube community. Today I'm gonna to be giving some tips on how to take care of yourself as a woman. It's not gonna be anything dramatic and shocking and oh, revolutionary. It's just gonna be filled with gentle reminders that I think you probably need to hear or want to hear. Okay, my first tip is to get enough sleep. This is obvious, but getting shut eye is actually so important to help our bodies recharge. It's very easy to forget that and go about your day and wonder why you're so cutthroat with people and why you're feeling so frustrated and why things really get to you. It's very easy to assume that that's just you and that's a part of who you are, but actually it's a reflection of your routine, your lack of sleep, your lack of rest. I've been getting much better sleep and it just makes a huge difference to go to bed before 12 o'clock as well. It just feels like a real treat for my eyes and my body. I really, really encourage you to kind of gift your body those extra hours sleep because they will make a huge difference. You will feel so much better in yourself and maybe you'll be a bit less snappy with the people that you are around all the time. I know that when that happens, I then feel guilty and it makes me feel bad about myself. So getting enough sleep really helps with my relationships. Another thing that I want to encourage you to do is to learn something new. I think that this is probably one of the best things for my mental health. I just love being challenged. I think a challenge of any sort is cool, that's why exercise is great. But another way that you can challenge yourself is by learning a new topic, learning a new word, just picking up a book and learning about something in depth. It's so wonderful to put time and effort into what's going on up here to fill the the head library with so much knowledge and information I just think it's the best thing you can do I really do believe that knowledge is power in this world where women are very much pushed to look a certain way and be beautiful and just these kind of providers of pleasure it's so such a statement to actually really focus on what is going on inside, focus on your mental health, focus on your kind of education. That doesn't mean you have to go back to university. You can educate yourself. And I actually think the best form of education is the education that you, you know, go out of your way to gain, i.e. through podcasts and books and research. I, I think that's where the passionate learning comes from and that's what kind of tends to stick in our brains. One thing that I really like about spending time learning is you're effectively just spending time on yourself. It's such a like a selfish thing to do. And I think particularly as women or just as a people pleaser, it's so easy to spend time looking after others and focusing on others' needs and focusing on making others feel good. It's all about everyone else. It's so empowering to be like, no, 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 I'm gonna learn about, I don't know, this sociological theory because I wanna know about this, because I want to forward my career, because I find this really mentally stimulating and it makes me just happy to be alive in this moment, to know these things and learn these things. Working on ourselves for ourselves, for ourselves. Another thing that I really want to encourage is for you to get creative. My friend actually inspired this idea. She's bought a lot of stuff so she can start gardening. And I think that's so lovely because one, it's outdoors, it's helping kind of the environment, but also it's not at all related to forwarding her career or looking a certain way. It's all just for pleasure. And I love the idea of gardening as well. I just think having a hobby that isn't attached to gaining something, that isn't attached to a possible job, just having a hobby that you can go to with no expectation of being perfect and a pro at this and an expert is really nice. It's really nice for us to, you know, have that moment to just play and explore and be creative. I think as women, we do have that, I don't want to generalize actually, because obviously men are creative too. I just, I've met so many women that are so fulfilled when they are being creative and they're exploring their ideas and I think it's such a nice thing to do via art uh, 
painting, arting, <laughs> painting, drawing, gardening. And I think it's even nicer when you don't feel the pressure to be really good at it because you want to monetize it. And when you don't have that, you know, vision, long-term vision with it, you're just doing it purely for the love of it. And to be present in the moment, I think it can be a really calming activity and really good for your anxiety and your mental health. It's really nice to have a hobby to go back to when you have just had a full on day and you don't know how to switch off. I know what hobby I could start, golf. I did this recently, a couple of months ago, and my God, I'd had a really bad day. You know when your mind just will not stop conjuring up negative thoughts? It's one after the other. I went to play golf after a day like that and because I was so engrossed in the moment, I completely forgot about all the things I was worrying about. And then when I came back from golf and you know my mind returned to some of those things that I was worrying about. It didn't seem actually that doom and gloom. It didn't seem that serious of an issue, that urgent. That's the, the beauty of having something that you can go to that doesn't fill you with fear and pressure and oh, get, get on it, come on, you need to be monetized. You need to work up the career ladder with this. It's so nice to have that thing you can go to that will just completely distract your mind. I know these are all very simple things. I just think, as humans, we just gravitate towards whatever's easiest and whatever we can do the quickest to feel good, which often ends up in us watching TV instead of meditating or doing exercise. So we just need constant reminders and people pushing us to kind of do the thing that's actually good for us. The thing that long-term you will thank you for. Next thing. <laughs> By the way, if you're enjoying this video, I'd really, really love it if you could subscribe. If you're not interested in subscribing, that's fine you could comment or you could like or you could put this on your instagram story my instagram is alessia so the very another thing that i really want to encourage you to do is to surround yourself with inspiring people people that are just going to make you feel so good about this world and this life and about yourself if i go a really long period of time without seeing my besties i really start to notice my negative self thoughts cropping up and I really start to notice how sensitive I am to any kind of criticism. I think I'm much more vulnerable when I haven't spent time with my friends because they are kind of my backbone. I feel truly appreciated when I'm in their presence. And I do think seeing them on a weekly basis is really important because, you know, with my friends, I'm not having sex with them. It sounds kind of weird, but yeah, I'm not having sex with them. I'm not giving them anything. I'm just, I'm there to be their friend that's what I provide. They're there to, you know, enjoy my personality and vice versa. And the fact that they keep coming back for more shows that, you know, I'm enough just as I am being me. I don't need to perform beauty. I don't need to be sexy. I'm literally enough to them because of who I am. And I think that's really magical. It's really empowering to have friends that appreciate you for who you are. And as a woman, it's really important to realize that you are so much more than your looks. Friends are so good at reinforcing that notion that you are so much more than your exterior, that you are an interesting, funny, passionate, cool person to be around. If you're the kind of person that tends to cancel plans last minute because you get a bit worried or you wanna save money or you want to just stay in and watch TV, sometimes you need someone to just say go out go out and see your friends and make an effort and if you don't have many friends you can always reach out to people on instagram that you feel are kind of like-minded people that post about things that you care about i'm a massive advocate of that of reaching out to people that you kind of feel a connection with someone that you know maybe you check someone's instagram out a lot if you check them out a lot not in a I fancy them but in a I love what you post kind of way then it's just a sign you should message them and say let's go for a coffee I don't think that's weird and if they find that weird then fine they're just obviously quite close-minded and judgmental and you don't want them as a friend anyway if they're like that but if they're like open to coming and having a coffee with you it's a sign that they are a positive spontaneous confident person and yeah you could make a best friend out of it so be brave and message that person and let me know how it goes if you do do that. Okay, another thing, I want you to try meditation. You might be someone that says, I can't meditate. 
my thoughts are just going crazy. The more you meditate, the easier it gets. It's a bit like going to the gym. You just have to train that muscle, that meditation muscle. In the mornings, I'm so wired. My mind is going here, there and everywhere, freaking out, what shall I do? What do I need to get done? And I have so much energy and adrenaline in the morning. So I actually think I'd really benefit from meditating in the morning. I did research though, um, are you meant to exercise before or after meditation? And it does advise that you exercise before because then you kind of get all sweaty and hot and your heart's racing and then the meditation helps to calm you down. And it's kind of the, the beautiful combo to get you set up for the day. So maybe tomorrow I'll try that. There are so many types of meditation that you can do. You could do mantra meditation, you can do guided meditation, you could literally just sit with your eyes closed and do some deep breaths and really focus on your breath um, and just listen to the sounds around your house. It's so important to breathe deeply, recognize how powerful the breath is. It's such a cool tool to have because you can use it whenever you could be out in a meeting and it could get really intense and you could just say to yourself, two deep breaths. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. Instantly, I feel better when I do that. I think it's so powerful. If you're feeling super stressed, it's so cool to just take a moment to do a deep breath. Make sure that you really focus on how the breath feels in your body. If when you're doing the deep breaths, your mind's still going crazy, just be gentle, refocus on the breath, keep refocusing on the breath when those thoughts come up. Okay, my last thing that I wanted to quickly talk about is environments. I think that different people are suited to different environments. For me, I quite like a coffee shop environment. I love working in coffee shops. I love existing in coffee shops, not necessarily working. I love relaxing, I love reading, I love chatting, I love working. I, I just love coffee shops. I feel so safe there. Maybe because, you know, that's where I spent so much time in my childhood with my family. We love to go to a coffee shop at the weekend. It just feels like such relaxing and communal space. I love it when it's a sunny day and the sun's kind of pouring in through the windows. I love like being on my own in a coffee shop and being surrounded by people, but being able to just be my introvert self. It just feels like such a special place. Knowing what environment soothes you the most is a really powerful thing to acknowledge because when you are feeling stressed or when you do need to get a lot of work done, knowing that you can go to that space to work and be productive or to relax or whatever it is that you intend to do. It's just really important to know that you've got that space to lean on. Um, sometimes I get anxious with everything I've got to do and um, just going to a coffee shop to do it, opening up my emails there, it just feels a little less daunting. I like that people are having a nice time chatting. I like being surrounded by happy people and people tend to be happy in coffee shops. So even if I'm not happy, within myself and I'm feeling anxious or maybe I'm going through a bit of depression. I love being in a coffee shop surrounded by people that are meeting up and enjoying life, people that are reconnecting with friends and it just feels like such a positive space and I'm definitely an empath. I definitely soak up people's moods and sorry, I've been looking out. I've just realized I've been looking out the majority of this video. I've got a window here and it's just so much going on. <laughs> The trees are swaying because it's a chaotic day and the birds are... Anyway, share um, your ideas on how to kind of self-soothe, how to look after yourself in the comment section because I love just seeing everyone connect on similar things and seeing everyone inspire each other. And the people that watch my videos are just full of knowledge. They're fountains of knowledge on self-improvement and how to feel better in yourself. So I would very much like to learn from you as you learn from me. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Hit the little bell. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Alessia Sotherberry, same name as my YouTube channel. I've got a Patreon page that you could check out. And I just hope that you have a magical day, that you love as hard as you can, that you express gratitude, and that you take a deep breath. <laughs>